everybody how you doing so i decided since it's such a rainy and gloomy gloomy day outside to come and give you guys a um mook bomb and i haven't done one in this setting in forever so it's not even set up because you know i had all my equipment in jackson with me and i'm home for a day or two and yes, these videos will be out of chronological order because this is going to be a quick upload today. I'm having one of my favorite meals. I was in um, Unapologetically Avis's chat this morning talking about food. One of her uh, viewers got me wanting some doggone cake balls. I didn't even know you could have cake balls. Now I got a taste of something I ain't even never know nothing about. Anyway, so I got to sleep in the 12 today. And when I real got out of her chat, I realized it was like one o'clock when I got out of her chat, and uh, the restaurant down the street closes at 1.30. They only open like Monday through Thursday for lunch, and then like on the weekend they open and they serve seafood. So anyway, I jumped in my truck. I did brush my teeth and put on some clean clothes. I showered last night, so I did, you know, wash up the personals. You know, it'll take but a few minutes because I already had a bath. That, and this is at 1.05. I made it there before they closed. Like, with about five minutes to spare. And y'all have seen this mook bun before, but you can see it again. I got my, um, I wanted something sweet and I didn't want fast food. So I got my peach cobbler. All this, y'all, is for $10.50. My cup of sweet tea. My salad. And my plate my straw and my plate of food now on this plate you can get like whatever size they have they be having cabbage corn macaroni lima beans butter beans black eyed peas uh onion rings french fries i just get <clears throat> excuse me the meat i just get the meat options which today was well they'll have sometimes they have like hamburger patties uh like south bear steak fish chicken liver meatloaf um they always have the fish and chicken and then you'll have like either like liver or salisbury steak or um another kind of meat or the meatloaf but i always get the fish and chicken yep so what i always get um and of course I get my salad this is my whole reason for going right here is I just wanted a little salad this morning this is my salad and here is my cobbler I get the um, peach cobbler they have peach cobbler or um, I think it's blueberry or blackberry cobbler and then, or banana pudding. They have one or the other. And then they'll have a, um, what else do they have for dessert? They'll have banana pudding sometime, but I want peach. So first of all, this bag, you know you mukbang a lot when you have your own silverware already washed into the side. So here's me a fork. Let me look over here in my container and find me a plate. I keep my dishes and wash them in here because, you know, I kind of don't never know what, when I'm going to be doing a mukbang and what I'm going to be eating. And so I got my clean plate. And um, I got my clean plate because there's no way I'm about to eat. Let me tell you how many pieces of fish on here. These are the size of the fish right here. Put me some on this plate. There's three pieces of fish and there's two chicken strips left. And I got one, two, three, four, five pieces of fish left. I might do one more piece of fish. So that leaves one, two, three, four pieces of fish and two chicken strips. And I'll probably have that tomorrow because I cooked a big pot of homemade beef stew. Anyway, and then we got this nice pretty salad. Put this salad up here. Can y'all see it? So I got this delicious salad and this fish. 
like I said, my setup kind of all because I haven't been home. Y'all know I've been with my dad. But yeah, and y'all may be tired of seeing this mukbang because this is one of my favorite places to eat and I do eat it a lot. For 10 50 I mean, how can you not eat it a lot? Let's get this grace in. Please bless the hands that prepared it. Please let it provide nourishment for my body. The Lord protect our world and our country from all things that are evil. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, I just got to have a day. I love a good salad. So, the first thing I'm going to do is get into this salad. In my salad, I got my tomatoes. My, gotta have a pickle. I got me some um, cucumbers, some baby corn. Now, I live in the south, and I've heard people be like baby corn. Yes, I like baby corn in my salad, and it's also some bell pepper in here and I got jalapenos and banana peppers down off of here but um now I put me some salt and pepper on here and ranch dressing I got my purple onions in here but yeah Yeah, my jalapenos and banana peppers. Okay, so first off, was anybody watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta marathon today? Because I'm so ready for this new season. Uh, it's about to go down. Do y'all think Candy jealous of Portia being pregnant? I ain't gonna lie to you. The commercials making it look like Candy jealous. It is making it look like she jealous. And she hating. Leave in the comments below. Tell me if y'all think Candy is jealous. And if she hating. Because the commercials is doggone show making it look like it. Also keep. Nene and Greg in your prayers because Greg is battling cancer. And there was a big thing online about somebody in her comments talking about because people was asking how Greg was doing. And Nene posted the update picture about how he was doing. Some dummy in her comments gonna say he look like he's sick. This is why I be telling y'all people is disrespectful. People should disrespect me. If you don't get in people comments acting like that, saying no stuff like that. Well, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I don't care if a person is supposed to be a star, famous, or what they are. When somebody in your comments like that, you as a person have a right to get smart back. Because people have this mentality where they think because you on YouTube or you on TV or you on Instagram that they can say whatever and you can't get smart back. You have to be nice. Who told them that damn lie?
this is one of them situations where I feel like Nene Orman should have drug them for fifth. I don't care how old they were. Because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the disrespect. And why don't you say I don't care about age? If you bad enough to get your little behind on social media talking crap like you grown, then you bad enough to get dealt with like you grown. And that's my opinion about it. Anyway. And then he said in her life, she and Portia are close in him. But I also made a comment. I'm trying to understand the comment, like kind of referring, saying that Bravo made a bad decision by taking Kenya off the show. Basically saying, I'm, that's how I'm taking the comment. That she made a bad decision taking Kenya off the show. Not she, but Bravo did. But the thing is, Kenya can't be on the show if she can't record. If you are contracted to record, and you already voided your contract when you said they could record the wedding, and then you didn't let them. Then you turned around the rest of the season and re-record because your husband didn't want to. That messed her up. Now, if he game for recording now and he down with it, then by all means. But if she's going to come over there, on there, we're going to draw $150,000 a season or however much she was making. To record, yeah, it's a chicken strip. Mm. To record, my hour to show the whole season and all together, or two hours to show the whole season. You ain't gonna get paid for that. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So. Back to Candy. She want another baby, but Riley says she don't need no more kids. Todd done kind of said, you know, we got this one, we good. So everybody but Candy feel the same way. Your friends and family ain't down for you having another kid. But she want another kid. And I feel like she is taking her aggression out on Portia because right now Portia living with her best life, pregnant and happy. And I just and now this is what the commercial is making it look like, so we gotta watch the show to see. And then y'all, they still recording. So this season gonna be it's gonna be so good. So I just seen on Bravo where they still recording this season, so it's gonna be lit. This is what I like about the house, why? Cause it'd be a little bit more fresher. Some shows 
the season be done be recorded so now long ago you don't know what be real what don't be real get out here dog y'all gotta put my dog out because i don't like when i'm eating shit bigger bigger than my face i left my door open anyway now let's get into this did y'all see this episode of dr phil Well, this little black girl was talking about um, she white and she hate black people. Well, I think her name was Treasure. Come to find out, one of Treasure's sisters done come forward and said that all of it is a lie. The man that raised them, those supreme, white supremacists, said her mama and her sister didn't tell nobody what they were doing when she said nobody referring to her and one of the other sisters I'm assuming but they didn't tell her nothing about it so they was on the plane going out to record the show she said treasure line. The whole story made up. Now, my question is, <laughs> is she saying it's a lie because she mad that she wasn't invited onto the show? Or is it really a lie? Because there's different sites around here on YouTube saying that they got, she had proof. And she on live with uh, one of the gossip bloggers saying it's a lie. Excuse me. How her mom and sister was laughing about it and all hyped up that they was going to, I guess it's Los Angeles to record and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. Leave in the comments below what y'all think. Do y'all think it was a made up lie or the sister mad because she wasn't invited? I don't know. I kind of think it's a little, I personally think it's exaggerated. I really do. Because the girl looked down, downright ghetto. But she not. She not ghetto. But anyway. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think it was made up? I don't know. I just felt it was a little far fetched myself personally. Like, this can't be real. So, people have been asking me about my TV show reviews. And why I haven't been doing them because they miss them. Why I haven't been doing them is because uh, I'm going to say about my dad. Uh, I just, TV show reviews take a lot of time. When you're doing TV show reviews, you can't have no life. You guys in front of that TV or watch TV wherever you at and keep up with every show. And if you got a daytime job, like I got I got a daytime job, a household and a husband to see about. So I don't have that much time in the day to devote all to TV to record that's number one number two 
when I found out reality TV is scripted to a certain extent, I stopped doing a lot of reviews because, oh, hell no. I, my pickle just shot. Y'all see that? My pickle shot off my fork to the clock of my plate. Caught my shirt. Down my arm. Across the table. Glad it hit the flow. Anyway. The only reality TV shows... Oh, I'm about to put you again. That I watch that they script it, but not as bad as others. They're more realistic. The most realistic shows that I watch is Married to Medicine, Black Ink Crew, New York. They are the least scripted to me. The least scripted. Speaking of Black Ink New York, I'm so glad that Genesis came around. Because let me tell you, I had already been all on Twitter in their comments. And I said, if he gonna come back on that show and act the damn fool, I don't want to see him back on there. I'm not gonna keep watching him come on there and, and jump on her have this bad attitude and treat her like crap. She didn't. I understand there's some things in life that she didn't do right. And there's some things she's gonna apologize for. And she's trying to make up for them. At the end of the day, she still is the, the grown, grown person and he still is the child and you have to be respectful. Anyway, he grew up since that episode, which was good because, you know, now, um, he able to open his arms to her, but honey, I was so happy. He wasn't there to fight her because I had already was getting defense. I said, if he hit her, I'm having a petition sign. I'm getting a petition sign or something because it ain't, it ain't no way. I'm a, No. That can't keep happening. I don't know what. But he didn't. What do y'all think about season putting Donna, uh, firing Donna? Donna was wrong for coming in there trying to make him pick because he is the boss. And she don't have control like that, so she was wrong for that. But I will say, Donna been down for him when nobody else was. She, she done rock with him. And done better by him than oh shit and Puma did. That's the truth. The complete truth. I I, I shouldn't get it to my dog because now she's gonna never leave me alone. But she just so cute. Anyway. Um what else was it? Young babe. With her boyfriend and mama. Young Bae can't let her mama come in. I understand their tradition, but she got to the man still have some say so. I'm putting this back because I, I can't. I can't. Because I've been eating healthy and doing some really major portion controlling, shrinking my stomach, and I refuse to stretch my stomach back out. So. When y'all, when I do my mukbangs, y'all not gonna see me overeating and all of that because I can't, I will not stretch my stomach back out. I'm not doing it to myself. But this salad though, 
I killed the salad. That's the main thing I wanted. I am down. I'm down 12 pounds. Portion control. I still do my fasting. I've been doing my fasting for about five years now. One, two, three, four years. I started back keeping up with my fasting. And, uh, yeah, I'm down 12 pounds. In four weeks, and I know somebody, some people may be like, "That's not a lot for four weeks," but it is a lot. I'm not taking any weight loss medicine. Um, when my dad, uh, the hospital my dad stay in from the parking garage to his room is a mile and a half. So I walk to his room and back to my car is like three miles. Then if we go downstairs to the cafeteria, back up to his room. That's for breakfast. We go back down to the cafeteria, back up to the room. That's for lunch. Then say we walk back out to the car to get something out. Like, say we decide we want, we forgot a certain puzzle book or we want to swap out a change of clothes or we just get tired of sitting in the room and we just want to go out and sit in the fresh air. Because it's in the parking garage, but at least... It is outside, and it's the only safe place we have to sit is in the vehicle and, and let the window down for a little bit. Listen to a little music for a few minutes and then go back up or whatever. By the time I do all that walking in one day, I'm putting in five to six miles a day. So I did walk. So my exercise was walking, and I did do... I um, In the hotel room, I did bridges and planks, and I'm down 12 pounds in four weeks. So... I am thinking about starting back the sack cinder. But yeah. So anyway, y'all, I have eaten all of that. I'm going to eat. Everything was delicious. That's all I got left in there. I have this left. I ate some of it. But it'll be for later. I drunk. All my tea. But before I drink that tea, I had a bottle of water. But well, most of that one and a portion of this one. Um, this is going to the refrigerator. And I'll have this for lunch tomorrow. Because like I said, um, I made beef stew. Homemade beef stew. And I do have a video of me making that stew. It's not it's not from this time I made it, but it's from a while ago. Um and I need to edit and upload it because I made it a while a while ago when somebody told me in a live chat that I need to record me making my beef stew. Somebody also wanted me to mook bung me eating the homemade vegetable soup and I will give y'all both of those videos so stay tuned I thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment below comment below share me this is the only time I can say this share me with your friends share me on Facebook share me on wherever but share me Cause this is the only way I get shared now. This is the only legal way you can share me now. But share me, okay? Be sure to like and subscribe. I thank y'all for coming through and eating with your girl. Because nobody likes to eat alone. And I appreciate y'all coming through and eating with your girl. Okay? I love you all. Hugs and kisses. And lots of love. From your girl, Nell. Or you can call me Nelly because my family calls me Nelly. You don't hardly ever hear them say Chanel or because my name is Chanel if y'all don't know. Y'all hardly hear them say call me Chanel or Nell. They call me Nelly. So hugs and kisses from your girl Nelly and I will see y'all in the next video.